Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. I am the Greybearded Summoner, and welcome back to Fire Emblem Heroes. Today, we have a few freebie summons I definitely don't want to get away on me, and there is the new legendary Micaiah banner that I also want to pull on. So, that's enough prattling on for me. Let's get right on in to the summoning. We're actually going to save the Micaiah banner for last, because I'm kind of, truth be told, I'm wishy-washy about whether or not I'm even going to summon on that banner to begin with, or at least go more than 50 orbs on it. Regarding this, the Focus Weekly Revival, I can always use more Distant Counter, so if green shows up, I will definitely be taking it, and I'll be avoiding, avoiding red like the plague. So we'll go blue, go on in. Got smoke on blue, let's see it. It's Gorn, what's up girl? Intelligent systems, resplendent. Please? Regarding the focus chosen family for the voting gauntlet, I have all of these units, with the exception of male Byleth. I don't, frankly, really need him, so I'm going to go in on this one, hit the redeem, and we'll make this the group summon. So if you feel for, feel the need to drop five orbs or have a redeem of your own, I'm going to select this red on the left. I'm going to count us down, three, two, one, hit confirm, and then you can feel free to flex on me in the comment section below or on my Twitter, at Gray Summoner. Three, two, one. Let's go! Alright. We got some smoke on red. There's three. Up, oh, it's a pala! What's up, girl? Alright. And then the last free redeem I have will be on the Heroes with Ruse skills. Regarding this banner, I really only have one of these units that I don't own, and that would be the character Selena. As far as this character is concerned, she is going to be returning on a banner with Regan, the mythic hero. So I don't know how hard I want to go in on this banner either, if I'm just going to be attempting to get her there and possibly using the spark anyway. But I'm definitely going to go in for the free redeem and let's see what we got. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, you know what? Let's throw caution into the wind, shall we? That's a three star. It's a mate. I already have you a plus ten. I am exceedingly happy for everyone that got, that was looking forward to Legendary Micaiah for however long it may be. Especially one of the Fae tubers I follow regularly, KCB Brian. Good luck, buddy. I know you've already recorded and you've already uploaded it, but good luck regardless. Because he's going to try and plus tenor. Not impossible on a legendary banner, but not something I'd want to do either. Okay, if this circle, though, doesn't bear any fruit, I am definitely going to pull out of this one, because I'm... I've already dropped more orbs than I was expecting. Yeah, I have nothing against Micaiah. She is a good unit. I already have FA at plus 10, too. three orbs on that. Alright, and let me slide on through here real quick, double check, yeah. So now we go to the Legendary Heroes Micaiah. Of these units, definitely Colorless has the greatest appeal, as I don't have a Shira, and I of course don't have Micaiah, she released with this banner. And I do not have, and I would absolutely love, copies of Fallen Edelgard. 
how deep I want to go on this banner, however, is another matter entirely. Because there are three special heroes coming up within the next two... Special hero banners coming up within the next two months that have topics that I know I will enjoy. So I don't know if Legendary Micaiah really takes priority over those, even though, and admittedly, my stock looks kind of high right now over there. But when it's separated between three banners and then odds and ends rehashed banner or double special another double special heroes, that number isn't that big. So I'm going to hit the redeem here, see what we get on this first circle. We got two colors. You know what? I'm going to go in on it just to see what I can do. Got smoke on the first colorless. Oh, it's a climb. Okay. I was about to say, I don't think I'm that lucky. I don't think I am. Then again, Lysithia came home early for me last summoning session, so... Okay, nothing on the colorless. I'm gonna be a little loose and cozy here, I'm gonna be honest. I can't say I'm going to go again. I, I prefer to stay above 500 orbs. I also want to see what's on the blue and the colors. Just more for my own sake. Because I'm missing two characters on blue I know of. And I've forgotten who's on. Yo, let's go, baby! That is my first copy of Naga. I'm missing one character on blue, a minus attack. Of course it is, because of course it is. But let's get a look at that art. I appear before man in many forms. Sometimes a great hero, sometimes a harmless child. Reference? Alright, well, I got one five star out of this circle. Let's see if there's any more. See what's under green. Got smoke on green, too. Nope, that's an Arthur. So do I pull red? We've already proven that this circle ha could be fruitful, but I don't really have anybody on red I want. And if I'm being honest, I'd rather go pull on the colors I would want. Melina, I'm looking at the red units right now, which is, so this, Lelina, and Fallen Male Morgan. That, actually, I should have pulled that, but oh well. I'll go into one more circle, let's see, because Luck's been actually pretty good. I also do not have Farina, and it's Thrasheer, Legendary Edel Edelgard. Who is the last unit on green? Is it Freya? No, it's not Freya. I just looked. I could have looked at all of them. I desperately need a resplendent Rebecca. Got smoke on colorless, let's see. Nope, that's a Brady. I haven't had a time to really build up any raid. I wouldn't be surprised if there's nothing on any of these. Curious though what's on, let's go this green right there on the left. Because now that I have it, Another character off of blue. I'm not wholeheartedly. It's a me. No. Now that I have two out of the three characters on blue, I'm not as quick to jump onto it. Because I don't need merges for Naga. I'm going to smoke on green. Raven. Oh, had me faked out. New resplendents do that to me. 
do love that art. That art is boss, though. Uh, if I get another circle, what are the odds I'm going to get a full colorless circle? None! It's going green. Nope, not even smoke, okay. It's Orochi! What's up, girl? One more. Now, two colorless is not off the table. Uh, apparently, it is. Interesting. I still didn't check to see who's with Legendary Edelgard. Oh, well. Hi, uh, Titania. What's up, girl? Also in the category of IS Resplendent win. And this will be last one. Doesn't even... Really? Alright, blue on the right and blue on the left. Let's see it. Well, we got smoke. Nope, it's a Tsubaki. Hmm. I said I wanted to stay about 500 in a minute. I know the video won't be... isn't that long. But, again, I, as I stated, I wasn't really in for Legendary Makaya anyway. Not say again, she's not a bad character, and I'm happy for anyone that was waiting on her for so long. But she's just not what I'm looking for. Not with Dancers, Ninjas, and Halloween just around the corner. I can't afford to go ham on a Legendary Banner. I just can't. But that is about it for me. I hope you all have enjoyed. Feel free to leave a like or subscribe if you did. And as far as next week is concerned, there'll be, of course, the weekly revival that I'll be pulling on. It'll, truth be told, though, oh, wait, we'll get the drop on the next Special Heroes, which if I'm remembering correctly, should be dancers. And if that's the case, that's where my orbs are going. But until next time, again, thank you for watching, and I will see you on the battlefield. Take care, guys.